it's right next to the casino, which is really nice. That's one thing I think about the Palms. Uh, at least the Ivory Tower, or not the Ivory Tower, fuck am I talking about? Oh, Fantasy Tower is as close to the casino. You're close to everything. Close to everything, yeah. Oh, Buffalo Grand. We haven't played Buffalo Grand yet. No, we have not played Buffalo Grand yet. What do you think? Maybe we should play some Buffalo Grand? Up to you. Here we go. Buffalo Grand here. 375 maxi bet. All right, here we go. Now, I never do well on Buffalo Grand. But maybe my wife's got that lucky finger again. I'm coming. Hard to film screen. Oh, make my day. Eagles all the way across. Yeah. 11 50. This is going to take us right down to the last one. Look at that. 375. And that's it. Hey, folks. It's that time again. We've got another episode here. Las Vegas Journeys. Uh, I apologize for the delay in the channel. I had business meetings up in Toronto. Uh, also, uh, took the kids out there for a little uh, day trip with us and took them to Canada's Wonderland and uh, showed them a good time as well. But, yeah, I was gone there for quite a few days. And I uh, just had a lot of business and work to tend to. Uh, still busy right now. Um, you know, usually as I go to, to these meetings uh, in Toronto, I have to relay all that information, um, you know, back to, you know, my staff and stuff like that. So, yeah, it happens from time to time. Um, so, yeah, you guys will have noticed that on the channel that I've been asking people to, you know, let's try, to try and encourage views. Um, I, I've noticed a big decline in views. Uh, as of late and um, you know especially when I compare the trends uh, to that of a year ago and I originally said that there was a difference of about 50% um, but as I looked more and did more numbers um, it's more like 80 80% uh, difference in the, in the viewership so again I just want to encourage uh, viewership I'm not trying to blackmail you guys you know um, but I am going to have a structure going forward so when I post an episode of Las Vegas Journeys, I want to get 1,500 views minimum before posting another episode. So when I see that an episode has reached 1,500 views, I will I will start work on another episode. And will you know once I start work on an episode, I could usually get it up in about 24 to 48 hours, depending on how much time I have. But never longer than 48 hours uh, usually. Um, so yeah, if you want to see another Las Vegas Journey episodes. There's gonna be a minimum seven day wait in between episodes anyway. 
Uh, that's kind of how I want to release these episodes on a weekly basis, much like a TV show. Um, but if seven days surpasses and we're not at that 1500 view mark, I will let the video sit for a year uh, and I won't post another one until it gets to that 1500. Again, I'm not trying to blackmail, I'm just trying to encourage views. I'm wondering where everyone went. I was getting more views at 3,000 subscribers than I am at, I think I'm at 8,400, right, right around there now. But it leaves you quite puzzled uh, why people are subscribing if they're not going to watch. It, it, to me, it's, it's a false sense of p popularity and growth, and I, I don't like it. I, I mean, if you're going to subscribe to my channel and just be a ghost, you're probably better off clicking the unsubscribe and watch your, your, your stuff that you're, you regularly watch. And again, there's nothing wrong. Uh, with people choosing what they want to watch. It's just that I only subscribe to channels uh, to the videos I watch. And if I notice a new channel that I like, I'll hit the subscribe button and I will continue to support their material as best I can. Uh, one thing I don't do is subscribe to somebody and not watch their stuff. Uh, again, it just gives that person a false sense of growth. And uh, it could be really uh, detrimental uh, to the health of that channel. Uh, because I know with me, it kind of discourages me a little bit uh, when I see that the viewership's going down and the subscribers going up. It's It just it makes me feel like the channel is no longer relevant and it makes me not want to put movies out there. So again, just trying to encourage the viewership. So 1,500 views on the episodes. I will upload extra live plays when the previous live play hits 500 views. And if that doesn't happen, well, you can see how the channel will just go dormant. I'll just basically put it into maintenance mode at that point. But again, let's get the viewership back. Let's spread the word about spinning in Vegas. Don't be scared to go out there and say, hey, check this channel out, you know, and bring them our way. Uh, comments also went down quite a bit, uh, almost as much as the views. And I, I really do uh, miss that sense of community and togetherness uh, that was so abundant on the channel, uh, you know, about a year ago. And I, I know that, you know, about a year ago when we had the renovations and the basement flooding, it really hurt the channel because there was nothing going up. There was just so much going on in my life. And I know that when you let a channel sit for a long time, people tend to forget about it. But I've been doing my best to try to put material up there. If you look about a month ago, it was like a video a day. And I was, you know, trying to get them up there on a regular basis. I'm having difficulty now with editing because now I got to convert each file before putting it into my editing software uh, just because of the iPhone settings. I had it on 60 frames per second at 4K and that shoots uh, at high efficiency mode and most editing softwares will not accept that file format. So I gotta convert each video one by one and it's 10 minutes to convert one video. So if you see 10 live plays in this episode along with you know five logs, that's 15 videos I have to convert one by one before I even go into editing. So it's doubling and tripling my time now. And it's, it's, it's a little bit more difficult, but again, I don't mind doing it if people are going to watch. But if people aren't going to watch, I'm not going to invest my time in it. It's just not who I am as a person. It has to make sense for me, you know, uh, the investment. Um, but yeah, new episode, guys. Uh, again, I want to say thanks to my Patreon supporters out there. You will have seen I posted a Tarzan, uh, a big win on my channel. The people who supported the Patreon page got to see that big win before it went live on my channel. And uh, going forward, I am going to let the Patreon uh, supporters probably watch episodes as well before they go live on the channel. Uh, again, I'm not going to guarantee that, but I, I am definitely uh, wrestling with the thought of doing it. And, uh, you know, as a Patreon supporter, they deserve to get that material before anybody else does. Also visit our merch store. Uh, again, uh, any money raised goes right back into the channel uh, in terms of contests and stuff like that. We've been giving stuff away here on the channel lately and uh, nothing will go in our pocket. We are 100% uh, not for profit here when it comes to the uh, Patreon, the merchandise and all that stuff. So uh, Super Chat as well. If someone sends a Super Chat uh, when we go live, uh, we just take that money, buy Las Vegas souvenirs, and give them away on the channel. Uh, so yeah, not for profit. Uh, it's not who we are as people. Again, we try to be very generous and uh, and give back to the community that made us who we are. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, in this video here, we got some slots, obviously, and we got some vlogs there at uh, Palms. Again, so unfortunate that we lost so many of our vlogs at the Palms Casino due to our Moza Mini Me uh, gimbal. Uh, you guys already heard about that, but you know, uh, there is lots of vlogs here and especially going forward, like especially when we hit the Mandalay Bay side of things, Mandalay Bay uh, and Delano was all about vlogs because I did very little slot play. So what I did was I took a whole bunch of slot live play that I did at Palms and I'm just going to include them 
in the Mandalay Bay Delano episodes because I don't want them to be 100% vlogs. And I know a lot of you guys enjoy the vlogs. Some of you have been asking, hey, when are we going to get those vlog videos? You know, we like seeing you walk on the strip, walking through the properties. Trust me, they are coming. So they will be here. Uh, it's just that when we spent those two nights at Palms, we wanted to establish a relationship with them and it was all about hitting the machines. I did do lots of vlogs. Unfortunately, I lost a whole bunch of them with that Moza gimbal. And uh, so I understand that these episodes are mostly slot live play now, but we'll be heavily on the vlog side uh, very, very shortly. I do have vlogs in this video too, and we will get to those. But um, let's talk about some slots here, guys. We've got some slot play here on Aristocrats Rock and Cash. They're kind of going after that uh, same market that Incredible Technologies is going after with their Crazy Money 2 and their Crazy Money Deluxe and all the, you know, Money Rain especially. Uh, so we got some Rock and Cash, Birds of Prey, or sorry, Birds of Pay, and Dragon Link. Go ahead, take a look. Pick one, Miggy. 20 bucks. Watch this. 30 slices. What the hell is that? 30 slices. Okay, you're going to slash, okay? Says 30 slices remaining. Just slice them. Go oh, ahead, get a wiggy. Yeah, cut through them. Oh, well. Wow, look at those big amounts up there. It doesn't matter, you don't have to, it's not time, as long as you do 30 of them. Oh, you got a 30. Three more. That's it. So that's what it does when you pop the bag. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Maybe it randomly comes up there. All right, well, guys, you might want to stay away from that one, man. That rocking cash. Oof, she's bad. Okay, guys. Uh, birds of prey. Birds of pay. Bird, birds of pay. <laughs> <laughs> Three dollar max bet. Oh, I think this thing is. One spin in and it's already better than that rock and cash I played earlier. Yeah. Oh man, some games. I think you need the eggs, Mickey. The eggs? Okay, I was just gonna ask. Or the drunken fox. Oh, I guess. <laughs>
$84 on a stub, so I'll run it through. Ten cent a nom, five dollar bet. Let's go. Volume. All right, hit her. Three of those balloons, I believe, is the free spin balls. Oh, got a line of cocks. Last one, Miggy. That's it. So there you go, rock and cash. Oh, what a colossal piece of shit. Look, I sat at that machine, you could tell I was kind of salty in that bonus because I just wanted to get, it's almost like an 88 Fortune style of game where you, you fill something up and then something happens. And well, it happened and I, I, I don't think it was very much in the bonus. I'm gonna say 80 bucks, maybe around $80. And I think I ran almost 300 or 200 can't remember maybe between there to try and get that to happen it was all right I just didn't like the way the game played I didn't like that it was almost an absolute clone and uh, I think aristocrat could have did away with not even making a machine like that incredible technologies is the go-to company when you want to play that style of game not aristocrat so I think they could have did away with it uh, birds of pay there nothing dragon link nothing which was fine uh, in the previous episode you will have seen us hit some pretty nice bonus rounds and some nice live play it was just a few losses here uh, on the machines uh we got some lord of the rings rule them all wonder woman golden lasso and wheel of fortune take a look all right we got the lord of the rings rule them all pretty much looks the same as the land of mordor you got the little assholes here for the bonus symbols and it's four dollar max bet. Miggy wiggy, nine lines. Hey, hey, hey. Two two X's and it was four eighty. Oh come on, baby. Didn't 
think so. 3X mile, what do we get? We got the asshole. Triggered. Look up to see what feature you've been awarded. The asshole feature. Look up all the way up. Okay. I have Sauron. Free spin. Three dollars. Probably good. Probably the best one, right? Seven. Seven free spins awarded. So you could probably re trigger like the symbols. Soon. Eyes will now collect during the Eye of Sauron free spins. For double reels. Okay. Hit it, Mingy. Extra eyes and added again, after the active feature is done. Okay, so we do Look it up all. and let the palantir reveal your oh, reward. Additional reels now awarded. Oh! Right, because the eyes. Got it again. Yep. So we're going to get a third one. Plus, we get to do this again. Eye feature triggered. Gonna go back up. Cast your eyes up. The we're not, we're not to see your very feet. much here, though. It's pretty bad. Come on, we need something good. Remaining spins play with additional reels. I gotta back up. So I need four more to get another one. It is, yes. One, come on. Two, come on. Dang it. 84.40. Hey, that's not bad, man. Take comfort in the splendor of your wings. Nice little cinematics. Eighty-four forty on the asshole bonus. All right, we got Wonder Woman here. I don't really care for this game that much, but there's really not much else here to play at Palms. Uh, Two fifty max bet here. Let's try it. See what we get.
59. Good job, Miggy. Fucking second row, you get the red shit on the third. Yeah. Every time. Not that time, though. Alright, that's good enough for me. No, I'm out. Wheel of the Fortune. One dollar to know. Uh, okay. Five dollar max bet. Let's do it. Volume's all the way up, you can barely hear it. Spin, spin, uh, no. Come on, baby. get the spin there we go yeah. okay yeah just there's no there's no sound or yeah anything. you hit the spin button okay incredibly but i think the lowest amount on there is 30. it's be 75 150. oh you hear it oh hell yeah okay we'll take it 150 bucks 200 we doubled Good job, Miggy. Lucky awesome. finger. So there you go. That Lord of the Rings game, I played like the Land of Mordor uh, previously on previous trips and uh, never really got much on them. This one here, this Rule Them All, uh, ended up with the asshole bonus. And uh, that, that was really entertaining. I didn't w win big, but you guys know that I don't have to win big to have fun. That bonus was really entertaining. I really enjoyed the way it kind of played out. It just it reminds you of like the other games that are in that style. You know, uh, uh, Willy Wonka has a game like that. Uh, Wizard of Oz has a game like that where you know you can hit certain symbols and the, the games fall. Godfather has a game like that too. Uh, this one was just a whole lot of fun. I love that bonus and there's a heck of a lot of potential in that bonus round as well. So I had fun there. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso, Bally. Uh, I'm not a fan of the other Wonder Woman game either. I broke even on that one. I think I got a wild hit there for uh, maybe around 60 bucks, 50 bucks. And uh, you know, I cashed out, broke even on that one. And then a really nice bonus there on Wheel of Fortune for $150. I love Wheel of Fortune. I'm a sucker for it if I see it. And what I like to look for is on the wheel, I look for an amount. If I see the amount is low, I tend to get suckered in and sit on it and try to get a bigger amount. Because usually with Wheel of Fortune, that's what happens. It'll throw out a few low amounts, and then you'll get a high one. And, you know, like that's the way. It is. So I see a low amount, 
I sit down and I'll, I'll try to try to get the bonus and get a bigger amount. Um, here we go with uh, some more. We got Aristocrats, Cherry, Riches, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, 88 Fortunes, and Celestial Moon Riches at $10 a spin. And Tarzan. Take a look. All right, guys. Well, we got Cherry, Riches here, uh, $1 Denom. Again, $5 max bet. Let's do it. So I think it's just five lines again. Oh, dang it. Five bucks. Come on, baby. Got it. Sweet. Only a few spins in. So what's the lowest amount we have? I've seen 50. 30. You've seen 30? Oh, yeah. man. Well, prepare for the 30. When you usually when you get them quick. Oh, okay. 150, 750. Three spins, 20. So do we get three more spins? Oh, that's not bad. That's probably. Yeah, that's. Yeah, but if you keep getting spins on the 20. Holy shit, this could be really good. We're at 25 bucks right now. Oh. oh man, this would be three spins or 400 or 100 or 200. Okay. Hey, two more spins. Yeah. Hit it with you. Two more spins. This is great. All right, 125 bucks. Ah, uh, 50, 2,000 would be unbelievable. 50 bucks. It's all right, we'll take it. Adds up. Yeah, or 20 or 30 or whatever. 20 would be great. 75. You can tell where it's going to land. Hey, hey, hey. $250 almost right away. Like, oh yeah. Bonus. Woohoo. <laughs> it did take Tylenol with me, right? All right, 88 fortunes. 880 max bet. We're gonna do it. I'm only running 100. I just I don't have the patience for it, so we'll do 100 if not. Hit it, Mickey. No, I know. I'm not gonna bother trying to make it fill either. Yeah, I hit it pretty hard. Button's all smashed. Nobody hits a spin button that hard. Go, we closed the cup already. It wasn't even full. Pick a Miggy. Get for that mini. Yeah, you're gonna get the mini. It always the mini. Twice your bet. Am I in the screen when I reach over? No, I don't think We'll have enough for another one. Maggie, hit the last one. All right, real. All right, we got Celestial Moon Riches here, and yeah, it's a $10 max bet, as you can see here. And I guess we're gonna give it a try. I don't think this is gonna be a hot one, but uh, I guess we'll give it a try. Here we go, bet max. <laughs> that does. Hit it, Mickey. 
just gonna bring it down to 200 again. <laughs> Got it? Yes! Ten dollars a spin! <laughs> oh, Mickey's over there getting drunk. Yeah, day drinking. <laughs> <laughs> right. Seven free game. Press spin, Mickey. Oh! We got the wheel and free games? Holy shit, is that a thousand? Hundred, okay. Press see, my heart going for a second. I was like, holy shit, is it like this? I was messed up. The high high bet amount. Thought it was the denom. My bad. Thirty-seven fifty. Plus we get seven free games. Retrigger. Come on. Trigger, nice. <laughs> Last one. Man, ten dollars to spin. You like to see him better than that? But I'm not gonna complain. It happened fairly quickly. We're good. Yeah, again, five dollar max. It's gotta happen. All right. Ladies. Fifteen bucks. Good job. Biggest win yet. Yep. Yep. Here. Oh, you do the dance. <laughs> there we go. 500 bucks. So here we go with some really nice live plays here, as you've seen, guys. Cherry Riches is basically Wheel of Fortune. It's just Aristocrats take on it. So now you're seeing Aristocrat trying to clone other companies' uh, cabinets here. And I, I think that <laughs> Aristocrat, look, they're my favorite slot company. At least they were. I, I, I'm finding it. I'm kind of on the fence now with, with certain companies and before I used to kind of crap on WMS a little bit. I think I'm liking WMS a little bit more nowadays. Um, but aristocrats should be making their own original games. You know, that's what they're known for. They're great at that. And and you see them making these clone games like this one with Rock and Cash and here with the Cherry Riches. It makes you think that they're struggling. So hoping that Aristocrat can come out with some of their own original titles, but we did hit a big win there on the bonus round on Cherry Riches. I believe it was right around $250, which is what I consider to be a big win at that bet level. Uh, 88 Fortunes there, that stupid pick bonus with the mini. That's all that good game is good for. Can't stand 88 Fortunes. Uh, I think this is the only time I played it during the trip and I'm a better person for it. Celestial Moon Riches, $10 a spin. We got the bonus round there. Uh, I want to say it was around 160 bucks. Something like that. At a $10 a spin, you do certainly like to see bonuses a heck of a lot bigger than that. Uh, I remember it happened fairly quickly. 
and I was really happy with it. You know, it, it, the bonus, not overly entertaining. I do see some potential there in the bonus round. Uh, just wish it would have been better, but had fun nonetheless. It happened pretty quickly too, which is always good at $10 a spin. Um, and Tarzan, the one that I uploaded as a single live play. Now, a lot of people ask me and they write comments on my channels that, uh, um, why do you put a live play on your channel when the video is always already in an episode? Well, I do that because not everybody watches the long episodes. They don't like doing it. They like, you know, they just float by. They want to see bonuses rounds on Tarzan. So that's why I'll include the single live play and also include the video, that live play, in an episode. It just, it satisfies uh, both needs. So a lot of people don't like watching the longer videos. Can watch the live plays as they're uploaded singly on the channel. So it's a, uh, you know, a pretty good uh, thing to have on the channel. I agree with it. And I just wanted to throw that out there. But yeah, a big win there on Tarzan. It was our biggest win uh, up to that point in Vegas. That was our second day. And man, it was so badly needed, not because we were taking losses, but because we played that game so many freaking times and never had anything happen on it. We'd always get wins of like a hundred bucks, 75 bucks, 150. And I didn't even get the bonus on Tarzan up to that point. You know, and I played the game about 40, 50 times, no joke. It was just, it seemed like it was so cheap and never puts out any money. So getting that wild feature happen in that $500 win threw me off a little bit. I was like, oh my God. So, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. This game does have potential. And if you ask me, I think there's more potential. Well, obviously the bonus round, it can be a lot of potential too, but that wild feature, when you see that happen, get excited. If you land those Tarzan symbols, you can get astronomical hand pays here. I mean, you're talking like the majors can land the grant. Like it, I'm telling you, like that whole third row can land all that stuff. And you remember the reels grow. So you can hit major, 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 major. So that's 500, 600, whatever the major is, could be up to a thousand for each one. And then you're talking like the first and second reel too, not to mention any symbols you might land up in the line hit. So very big potential there in the wild feature. The grand bonus though, obviously you get the grand and the multipliers on the wheel whenever you land the line hit. It can be really sweet as well. Uh, I love Tarzan now. I, th I think it's a great game after you know I've started to play it more and hit more of these features and bonus rounds. I think that the potential is worth the risk. Again, I'm more of a high volatility type of person rather than time on machine, but it depends. If you're looking to, to, to rack up points to get comps out of property, you're gonna wanna play at a game that offers lower wins, but more often. So less volatile, you're sitting at the game for a heck of a lot longer than you would playing a game like Tarzan. I've played games where I've ran $100 through and I was emptied in 30 seconds. You know, it's high volatility. But there's games where I put 100 bucks in and sat for 30 minutes, 40 minutes. You know, so there is definitely a difference there. Uh, now we're going to get some vlogs uh, into this episode. Um, just walking around uh, the Palms place. I wanted to get what I call splicer shots. So whenever I do a review of the uh, property, I like to have videos of certain parts of the uh, property floating by as I'm discussing them here uh, in person. And I got a couple shots like that there, the pool area. One place that I really wanted to visit was the high limit area I wanted to go through there because to be honest, I was quite disappointed here with the Palms uh, high limit area. When I'm at a property, Casino in Vegas, I like to go to the high limit room and play from time to time. Uh, you know, especially when I'm doing well or doing okay, I know if I notice that I'm even or a few hundred dollars up, I'll go do $25 a spin on a machine and, you know, take my chances at that. And I just found that the high limit area at Palms was way too small. Mostly mechanical real style high limit games, uh, video poker there. There were a couple of 88 fortune cabinets and other games that I wasn't really familiar with, but it, it was just really disappointing overall. I did not do any play whatsoever in the high limit area uh, at the Palms Place. And as you've seen floated, floating by here, uh, it really wasn't much there. A couple of high end table games, maybe 30, I wanna say maybe 30 slot machines, but again, mostly mechanical real style games and uh, video poker so a little bit disappointing there but i got uh some video here of uh the pool area over at palms i wanted to go down to that pool area because the whole entire resort went through a 750 million dollar renovation and the pool 
was no exception. It was part of that renovation. So they took out a complete centerpiece out of that pool. Uh, they erected a, just a gigantic statue uh, in the middle of the main pool. There's two pools there at Palms and they did a really nice extensive renovation, restoration, whatever you want to call it, of the pool area. Like I said, removed the centerpiece at the pool and uh, added that statue and there was beautiful private areas, uh, rooms right next to the pool with their own private pools. Those look fantastic. I'd love to get my hands on one of them rooms uh, in the future. They just look beautiful. You don't get a view because you're so low, but I bet you that place is popping because that pool looks like it is on fire. They have, we're, they replaced the uh, center area with a DJ area. So you could just imagine the pool parties that go on at that place. And even though it was cold when we visited there, and I mean cold, the wind was blowing and it was around 15 degrees Celsius. And there were still a lot of people there. I was pretty surprised that people were going down to the pool area when it was that cold. But you know, there might've been 30, 40 people in, in the pool area and I, I don't know, I just thought it was a nicer pool than a lot of other pools we visited in Vegas, even though if you look at it from my Google Maps, you're not going to agree because it shows the old pools. It's, it seems a lot bigger now. And uh, just a great area there. They have, you know, the day beds in the pools. They have the cabanas if you want to have the cabanas. And, uh, well, I'll let you take a, a look there, guys, and I'll end the episode after those videos. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank you guys again. You guys all rock. Uh, much love for all you guys out there who watch the videos. Uh, I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I, like I said, I'd love to encourage more views here on the channel. Obviously, every video creator, uh, content creator wants that for their channel. You know, everybody works hard here. And, um, you know, we just want to feel like we're, we're being rewarded. When I say rewarded, I'm not talking monetary value, like a reward. I'm talking just the reward of people coming you know, getting some news from the channel, uh, talk, you know, talking with you guys about Vegas, learning from one another. That's the real reward in the channel because it's, this is a labor of love. Uh, it's not a labor where, you know, you can expect um, a whole lot of compensation uh, money-wise. Uh, I don't make very much on YouTube. I just don't. You know, it's, the channel's not that big. Um, certainly not a uh, living wage, I'll tell you. Um, what I make in a month on YouTube, I make in a day. In my regular job so it just gives you an idea there of how much is made on the channel so this is a labor of love and you know being with the community and if the community is not there I'm out uh, I, I just am and I won't even look back I'll put the channel in the maintenance mode and and leave it at that leave what's up there for people to to get use of but if the viewers are not there um, I just don't see the need for it like I said um, a year ago even two years ago I was getting more views and with much, much less subscribers. So it's a little disheartening for any video creator to see those sort of numbers and trends. And I'm just looking to encourage it, not looking to blackmail anyone. I mean, if you don't want to watch the video, you don't want to, I can't force anybody to do it. So I just want to encourage, I want people to come back to Spinning in Vegas and be a community here again. So get the word out, uh, you know, that Spinning in Vegas is here for everyone to get use from. And, um, if the viewership starts going up, you're going to see a big, big effort uh, on my ha my behalf uh, to put material out there for everyone to watch. The more views I get, the more material I'll put up on the channel, I promise. And, and I'm not a type, the type of person to go back on my word. If the viewers are there, if I start seeing, because I used to post a, a live play and I would get, you know, 1,500 views, 2,000 views. Some of my live plays get up to, you know, 50,000 views. But it was they usually never got below 1,000. And now what I'm seeing now is... 500 views, uh, 400, 300. Some of them are hitting, you know, a little bit over 500. Uh, I'm seeing episodes now of Las Vegas Journeys having a hard time to hit the 1,000 view mark. Some of my older episodes, you know, 10,000, 5,000. You, you know, it was always I could always expect a minimum amount, and uh, it's just not like that anymore. It's it's looking at it, and I'm just getting shocked and disappointed and disheartened by it. And uh, you know, like I said, I have no problems letting this go. It's just who I am. I'm, I'm a businessman. Uh, I, I'm, I'm the type of person that likes to see return on investment. Uh, so if I invest my time, I want other people's time. And I, you know, I want people to watch and get used from it. I want to learn from other people. So let's do it. Let's get the word out there. All right. We're a great community here. Uh, you know, fantastic people. So here we go. Vlogs at the Palms Las Vegas. Take care out there. You beautiful people. I'll see you in the next movie. 1500 views. Come on, let's get there. All right, guys, we just got done doing some slot play. Had a little breakup at the room. 
And uh, we're just taking a walk through the palms now. Had a wicked win there on Tarzan. Still didn't get that flipping bonus, but man, that win was real special. What do we got here? We got Shark. Guys, Shark. By Bobby Flay. This is a new celebrity restaurant and supposedly one of the highest end restaurants in all of Vegas. Look at how beautiful it is in there. Oh man. Shark. Here at Palms. Not gorgeous or what? Hey, maybe? Is it gorgeous or what? It's not yeah. open yet, but. We, wait, we, sh we have to eat here before we leave. Supposedly one of the best in all the Vegas. The VIP area is just over there and it looks like it's blocked off too. It's funny. What you, oh, this is uh, Scotch 80 Prime. This is another, another excellent restaurant here that a lot of people have recommended. And you can see all the bottles of Scotch in there. Trying to zoom here, but yeah, right there, yeah. Scotch 80 Prime. Other side of that shark restaurant. Okay, yeah, I'll see a little LCD screen here. Oh, and here we are heading out to the pool area, guys. We're gonna check that pool area out. Oh, you might need a. You probably can't film out there. Yeah, you're probably not allowed to film. I'll try to do it incognito, but little. Uh, what the heck is in here now? That oh, looks funky. A red room of some sorts. This way, that way. All right. I'm just gonna throw this down. Hi. addition to see. It's nice to see the lifeguards here. Yeah. You don't see that often at uh, Vegas pools. And uh, you can see where we are, Miggy. Yeah, yeah. Our room is just below the very bottom balcony there. The top. In the uh, Fantasy Tower. It is pretty cold, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's windy. Yeah. That is really something. Wow. So, yeah. Beautiful little pool area here at Palms. Yeah, for sure. This is this is like a hot place. Like they have some serious pool parties here, man. Like a big DJ stage right there and stuff. You yeah. see what I mean? Like. That's probably where Dead Mouse was playing here yesterday. Oh no, he was in the. He was up in the. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. You got private pools up there. Those must be like areas you can rent out, or they might they're be high. Cabanas. Yeah, they they're might. All cabanas up there. They're probably for high rollers and stuff like that. Private pools and stuff up there. Really, really nice. Well done. You can tell how windy it is by the choppiness of the water right there. Yeah. It's really windy right now. Very, very windy. I'm gonna turn these around. So there you go, yeah, Palms, pools, really nice. Uh, I think it's uh, it's decent. I think that if you get a lot of people here though, it might be it might be a little bit, a uh, little bit packed, little, uh, yeah, shoulder to shoulder and stuff like they that. extra beds, up, uh, like your couches over there, so I bet that they probably take them out as needed. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so that's the pool area. We're gonna take and walk around the resort a little bit more and try to, you know, just figure the place out and uh, 
you know, it's, it's a really a beautiful, beautiful resort area. Uh, it's off the strip. It makes it a little bit more affordable for people that want to come to Vegas. Uh, there is a shuttle that goes from Rio to the strip. So all you need to do is walk from Palms over to Rio, which is basically across the road. Uh, no more than a five, 10 minute walk. Jump on that uh, shuttle and head over to the strip. So if you want to save a few bucks, come stay at Palms, which was on my top five best valued casinos for 2019. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out on my channel. Top five best hotel, best valued hotels uh, in Vegas for 2019. Palms made that list. Uh, if you were to go on uh, Vegas.com or LasVegas.com, I can never, I get mixed up between the two, and look at Palms, the room for tonight at Palms, you can get them for as low as $30 a night, okay? Uh, these are last minute deals, obviously, but sometimes that's what you gotta do to get them deals. And uh, I'd say $30 a night, this is a good resort. Yeah, oh yeah. Right? Sure. The room that we're staying in is $800 a night though. It's a villa, it's a, a wraparound villa. So a little more affordable. You're not going to get that type of room for 30 bucks, but the room that you do get from what we've seen was pretty nice. It still looked like it was a suite. Yeah. You know, that now they might have basic rooms. I, 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 I really can't say it, but uh, for 30 bucks a night, you can't go wrong for having all this, right? You got to remember that $30 a night, you're getting everything in the resort, right? So yeah, beautiful pool area. I think we're going to go now because... The water's heated, but the minute you get it, like I stuck my foot in, now I'm freezing. You're freezing, yeah. yeah. Once you get out of the water, it's so windy that you're going to start getting cold. So we're going to walk out of here now and uh, go uh, explore some more. Peace out.